US egg prices soar nearly 60%. Onions are being smuggled into the Philippines. US officials warns of risks posed by heavy electric vehicles. Judge tells Detroit Museum to not move Van Gogh's painting. Analysts announce the world's most punctual airlines in 2022. Madagascar's lost animals need 23 million years for evolution to replace. NASA is keeping a 45-year-old spacecraft alive. CES Tech Show brings games one step closer to reality. G'day, this is Carrick. I'll be your host for today's Sunday news. Today is Friday, January the 13th, and let's begin with our top stories. 2023 will not be the year of the egg, and this because media reported that the cost of eggs in the US is up almost 60% year over year in December and up 11.1% compared to the last month. The increase is the largest month over month since April 2020. Year over year, we must go back to September of 1973 to witness something similar. U.S. media said that eggs single-handedly raised the cost of groceries in the U.S. in December by 0.2% month over month. The U.S. CPI for December showed a 6.5% rise in prices over last year, but a 0.1% decrease over the prior month. The media said that as of December, the cost of grade A large eggs per dozen was $4.25. That's more than 10 Taiwanese NT dollars per egg. Experts say the price increases are due to the total size of the U.S. egg-laying flock decreasing by about 10% in 2022, after roughly 40 million laying hens contracted the avian flu and were subsequently culled. As a result, the total egg production dropped by about 5%. In addition, farmers had been raising fewer egg-laying chickens prior to the avian flu hitting because of increasing feed costs over the past several years. After eggs, let's talk onions. In the Philippines, the vegetable now costs almost three times more than chicken. According to the country's Department of Agriculture, red and white onions were selling for as much as 600 Philippine pesos, or $11 per kilogram on Monday, compared to 220 pesos, or $40 per kilogram for chicken. And now onions have become such a hot commodity that they're being smuggled into the country. The media reported even beef brisket is 30% cheaper than onions by weight as the price of a kilogram of the allium has soared higher than the daily minimum wage in the country. The price surge comes after a splat of super typhoons hit the Philippines last year, damaging tens of billions of pesos worth of crops. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, the Southeast Asian country has been grappling with soaring inflation in recent months with consumer prices jumping 8.1% in December, hitting a 14-year high. On Wednesday, the head of the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board, Jennifer Homendy, expressed a concern over the increased risk of severe injury and death for all road users from heavier curb weights and increased size, power, and performance of vehicles on U.S. roads, including electric vehicles. In 2011, the U.S. National Bureau of Economic Research published a paper that said being hit by a vehicle with half a ton more could increase the probability of sustaining lethal injuries in a crash by 47%. When you look at how gasoline compares to battery electric vehicles for energy use, it's pretty clear that EVs come out on top. Hormundi noted, by way of example, that an electric GMC Hummer has a battery pack that weighs 1,300 kilograms roughly the entire weight of a typical Honda Civic. The executive director of auto safety, Michael Brooks, said these bigger, heavier batteries are going to cause more damage. Besides, EV also deliver instant power to their wheels, making them accelerate faster in most cases than most gas-powered cars, trucks, and SUVs. Brooks noted, it's a simple matter of mass and speed. A judge on Wednesday ordered the Detroit Museum to hold onto a 19th century Van Gogh painting in response to a lawsuit by its owner, who claimed it had been missing for nearly six years. The painting, titled The Novel Reader, or also The Reading Lady, is a part of a rare Van Gogh exhibit. 
According to the lawsuit, Brokerate Capital Partners LLC and its sole proprietor, Gustavo Sola of Brazil, acquired the painting in 2017 for $3.7 million, but a third party took possession of the art. The exhibition ends January 22nd at the Detroit Institute of Arts. According to the lawsuit, the painting is worth more than $5 million. The lawsuit seeks to have the painting turned over to the owner. The lawsuit states that the plaintiff recently learned that the painting is on display as a part of the museum's Van Gogh in America exhibition. The oil on canvas painting indicates that it's on loan from a collection in Sao Paulo, Brazil. U.S. District Judge George Karamsti barred the museum from moving it, a temporary step before a court hearing on January 19th. According to fresh analysis by travel data provider OAG, the official aviation guide, the world most punctual global airline of 2022 was Garuda Indonesia with 95.63% of the carrier's flights arriving on time. South African low-cost carrier Safair and Germany's Eurowings took second and third spots in the punctuality league with on-time performances of 95.3% and 95.26% respectively. In Asia, neither Singapore Airlines or EVA Air made it onto the 2022 list, while Korean Jeju Airlines made an incredible surge, jumping 81 places into fifth place. According to the most punctual airlines in the world ranking, Asian and Latin American airlines were the most punctual in 2022. Led by Garuda Indonesia, Asian airliners dominate the top 10 lists with five grazing top spots. Thai Air Asia ranked number four, followed by Jeju Airlines, All Nippon Airways, and Japan Airlines coming in fifth, sixth, and seventh place respectively. Panama's Copa Airlines and Latam Airlines Group shared the pride for Latin American airliners, ranking eighth and tenth, while Spain's Iberia ranked ninth. A new study published in the journal Nature Communications on January 10 suggested that it may take close to 23 million years for evolution to replace Madagascar's endangered mammals if they were to go extinct. Researchers created a database of every known mammal species to coexist with humans in Madagascar for the last 2.5 thousand years. The data allowed them to estimate how long it would take for a similarly complex set of new mammal species to evolve in Madagascar if extinction was to happen. The team estimated that it would take 3 million years for Madagascar to recover the species that have been lost since human arrival if current threats were not mitigated. Biologist Steve Goodman said it's abundantly clear that there are whole lineages of unique mammals that only occur on Madagascar that have either gone extinct or are on verge of extinction. And if immediate action isn't taken, Madagascar is going to lose 23 million years of the evolutionary history of mammals. In 1977, NASA launched two interstellar space probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Voyager 1 is already over 23 billion kilometers from Earth, which means that it takes 22 hours for a signal sent from Earth to reach the probe. Then, it takes just as much time for the signal confirming the execution of the command to get back to Earth. Last June, researchers reported that Voyager 1 was sending data to Earth indicating that it had lost its orientation in space. The cause behind the problem was found, and communication with the now 45-year-old computer systems on board continues. Engineers found that the antenna control system had begun to transmit telemetry data through an onboard computer that has been out of service for many years. It was this computer that distorted the data, which then ended up on Earth as a series of illogical information. Voyager 1 is in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft has flown in before. NASA researchers used one of the spacecraft's redundant hardware systems that's been dormant for the past 45 years to solve software issues from 23 billion kilometers away. 
Getting shot, standing in a downpour, or even being surrounded by bees. Not an idea, but for gamers, feeling the sensation of each is the new goal. Tech Explore reported that at the CES 2023 tech show, the video game industry is now showing off how lifelike gaming can be made with new vests, head cushions, and other simulation products. A haptic vest can replicate the feeling of action playing out in virtual worlds, while matching glows add tactile feedback to the experience, emerging players even more into the digital realm. Gaming hardware company Razer showed off what it said was the world's first surround sound audio and haptics head cushion called Project Carol, which allowed gamers to feel everything behind them, placing them firmly in the middle of the action. Razer said it will release Razer Edge, a handheld gaming unit in the United States on January 26th. Dell and Acer also showed off laptops sporting rich screens and mighty computer chips meant to tempt gamers who crave speed and immersion. And that's all for today. Thank you for joining Funday News today. As always, we strive to help you improve your English skills and keep you informed about international current events at the same time. If you want to know more about our other programs or keep in touch with the world's most important events in English, please click the link in the description below to join Funday for free. I'm Kerrig, your host, and see you next time.